So this book is called Gravity, and it teaches us about gravity, and it'll explain it. So the book is a little bit fun with fun pictures, and then there's some information in the back that I will read as well. So gravity. Gravity. Make objects fall to Earth. Without gravity, everything would float away. The moon would drift away from the earth. The earth would drift away from the sun. Luckily, everything has gravity. Massive things have a lot of gravity. And their gravity pulls on smaller things. Gravity keeps the earth near the sun, the moon near the earth, and makes Objects fall to Earth. So then we have our page in the back that gives us a little bit more information about gravity. I'm going to turn the book so that I can see it a little bit better to tell you about it. But I'm going to make sure you have time to see all of the pictures before I do that. So starting over here, it says gravity is attractive. Gravity is an invisible force that causes objects to attract to each other. Every object in the universe has gravity that is continuously pulling on every other object in the universe. When you jump into a pool, the Earth's gravity is what pulls you down towards the water. More mass, more gravity. The gravity pulling two objects together is determined by the mass of both objects. The greater the combined mass, the stronger the gravity between. For this reason, the force of gravity between the Earth and the Sun is stronger than the force of the gravity between the Moon and the Earth because the Earth and the Sun have more mass than the Earth and the Moon. A object's gravity extends infinitely, but it becomes weaker with distance. Near its surface, Earth's gravity is strong enough to keep you on the ground, but millions of miles away, its gravity becomes so weak you wouldn't even notice it. Even though the gravity of all the stars in the universe is pulling on you, you really can't feel it because they're much too far away. Mass matters. Mass is the amount of matter, or stuff, that makes up an object. Mass can be measured by weighing objects. Heavier objects have more mass. Often, larger objects have more mass than the smaller objects, but mass is not the same as size. A big box of air has less mass than a small box of bricks because there is more matter in the box of bricks. The measure of gravity. Weight is the measure of Earth's gravity pulling on objects. Since mass determines how much amount of gravitational pull on an object, objects with more mass weigh more. Take an elephant and a mouse, for example. The elephant has more mass, so the gravitational pull on it is stronger, and since the pull on it is stronger, it weighs more than the mouse. And gravity keeps it all together. The Earth travels around the sun in a path called an orbit, and gravity keeps the Earth in its path. Imagine you have a ball on a string and you swing it in a circle. The string will keep the ball from flying away. The sun's gravity is like the string keeps the Earth from flying away. All of the planets in our solar system orbit around the sun, and the moon orbits the Earth, and gravity is what keeps it all together. So this one was gravity.